I've got a value bomb to drop. I'm dropping bombs. I'm sure I'm going to watch this now because I said that. Um, a member of our team, Caden. Shout out to Caden. Pulled together this list. I think he started it and then uh, the rest of the team contributed. So if you're on my team and you contributed to this and I just, just didn't just say your name, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm not trying to be rude. But uh, what he did was he pulled together a list of every single audience inside of Google Ads. Here's why this is so cool. is because without a list like this, it's impossible really to know exactly what it is that you can segment by. And um, if there's a way to do it that somebody knows that I don't know, please tell me. But otherwise you just end up inside of Google's weird little, you know, horrible search box in their audience thing. And you're scrolling through and it's hard to figure out, you know, categorically things are nested in, you know, primary, secondary, tertiary uh, categories. Like, like people that are interested in trips to Sicily. Whoa, what an amazingly specific audience. Um, and if you, if that's applicable to you, then like, Holy cow, you should absolutely be targeting this. Um, I've got a I've got a buddy, I just did an email on his accounts, and he offers a very specific type of coaching for a very specific um, what would you call it? Marketing method is the best I can do while still keeping his identity veiled. He has the exact audience, or Google has the exact audience for him, and his account wasn't targeting that audience. And I can't even really yell at the, the agency that's running the account for him because it's so hard to figure out what audiences are available. Plumbing fixture and hardware parts. Um, trips to Denmark, a lot of trips. I've been to Denmark, it was beautiful. We were on the Danish Riviera. Um, open face sandwiches that were way overrated. Uh, transportation and utilities jobs. This is huge right now for those of you that are hiring. Vegetarians and vegans. Um, Golf enthusiasts, that one I've known about, that makes sense. But so this is the other thing too, is you can use audiences in order to discriminate. <laughs> so for instance, if you wanted if you wanted people that are at least mildly affluent, you could target golf uh, enthusiasts or observe golf enthusiasts and then decide whether or not there's there's an impact there and you can have bid adjustments accordingly. And you know, golf might not necessarily be the most, the strongest indication of affluence to, in, in today, it probably was 20 years ago, but you know, you can do like yachting or something. Um, interested in apartments or homes for rent that's gosh is that a huge one you know if people are changing their home there's so many things that they need you know home for sale is huge too obviously now that's an audience that everybody's going to be targeting but you know if you start thinking about like they're going to need appliances movers they're changing their internet um they're probably receptive to changing other things um computers electronics auto software food and dining that's a really big one soccer fans uh, football fans. I said it incorrectly. I'm not trying to be rude. Um, specific types of vehicles. I mean, look at just, it's just, it's just robust and it goes on and 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 on. Sci-fi and fantasy TV fans, not movie. There's a difference between sci-fi and fantasy movies and sci-fi and fantasy TV. I love that that's the case. Thrill seekers. What a great audience. And, you know, audiences are, are the unsung hero of Google ads. And I, you know, I say that like I'm telling you, we don't use audiences the way that we could or that we should. Um, and it's because this is the first step. It's like, I need a visual. I need to be able to see what is it that's, that's available to me. Here's the thing. I'm going to give it to you. Just give it to you. It's not gated. It's not on my website. I was going to gate it. I was going to, you know, chat at somebody and say, hey, let's build a gate. And I realized we don't even follow up on the leads that we get from gated content. Um, just because our sales team is overwhelmed right now. So you can have it. I hope it helps. Um, someday you'll consider hiring us. I know you will because you're a good person and empathic. And the raw law of reciprocity states that I have given you something. And so now you too must give me something someday. So maybe that thing right now is a like or a comment uh, or a subscribe. And maybe someday it will be, hey, you should go hire that guy. Um, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know we actually know what we're doing. We shoot a video every single day. So if you want to be notified, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any input, don't hesitate to hit us up in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. We get very little human interaction. Thanks for supporting our channel. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.